Are you scared of your mom and dad? Are you not sure about whether you should take a gap year? Stay tuned because I've got everything for you. Hello everybody, it's Mopani MK, the channel all about helping you to change your mindset to discover your mission. I'm like tired of seeing people trying to please everybody. Trying to please everyone is the key to failure, guys. There's a story I have to tell you. There's a couple going on a long road in Africa using a donkey and what happens is they both get on the donkey and people judge them and they're like, look at these people, they're so mean to animals. How can you both ride a donkey? So what they do is they, the, the husband gets off. The next time people see them, they're like, oh my gosh, uh, the wife, she's just letting him walk alone. What, who does she think she is? So the wife decides to get off and let the husband on. Another group of people then say, how could you let a woman walk? right so then the husband gets annoyed and then now they're both walking and the donkey's walking with him but no one's on the donkey and then people say look at these fools they don't know how to use the donkey so guys this is the picture of the story i was telling you about this is just an example to show you how society is today uh people do uh what people say and they do it to please everybody else they drive cars get houses or get jobs to please people and in this story no matter what you do people say something or have an opinion so you might as well just do what you want because either way they're gonna have an opinion if you're thinking should you take a gap year and you're not sure you're probably trying to please somebody else what you need to do whether it's your parents or someone else just think about whatever decision you make someone's gonna judge you so you might as well just take what you want to do so stop trying to please everybody and just do what you want if you're thinking about a gap year you probably should take it a wise man once told me if there's no enemy within the enemy without can do us no harm at the time i was like what on earth does that mean <laughs> but what it means is when you focus on fighting the real enemy which is you your mindset because you're always the person telling yourself what to do when you focus on that then pleasing everyone it has no effect on you i focus on myself my mindset i'm fighting constantly battling against myself yes no should i have a dessert today no i'm working out i, I don't care what people think anymore i do it my way i'm constantly fighting myself so that's what that quote means. It means you need to focus internally what you want, get your mindset, change your mindset, which is what I'm all about. These people you're trying to please, ask yourself, do they pay for your bills? Are they gonna share your coffin with you in the end? If you were broke, are they gonna be there for you? How much will they support you? Most likely the people who do that are the people you really love. If you had nothing, if you were homeless and naked, who is it that would come to your rescue? Would it be those people you're trying to please? If it's not, then why are you trying to please them? You need to ask yourself these questions and get it clued up in your head. So stop trying to please everyone. It's a waste of time and money for yourself. Should you take a gap year? Why are you asking yourself that question? Surely you should know whether you want to take a gap year or not. If you're still not sure, ask yourself, why is it that you're not sure? What's stopping you from making that decision? Ideas for you to, to do a gap year. You can go skiing, you can go backpacking, you can go on expedition in Antarctica, you can do interrail Europe. There's plenty of things for you to do. Just go on Google and type in gap year ideas. There's a lot of things you can look at. So check it out. Today's action is for you to go and sit down with mom and dad and tell them what you want to do. If you want to go on gap year, tell them you want to go on gap year and tell them what you want to do. And then tell me their reaction and comment down below. I can show you how to handle that situation, not to turn it into World War III, how to handle that situation so you can get what you want. It's frustrating for me to see people living in a way to try and please everyone because I did it. I used to put certain pictures on Facebook just to get a certain number of likes. And what I felt is I I felt in a prison 
where I was always doing things on people's terms and I felt stuck. But the minute I stopped trying to please everyone, I felt so free. I didn't have to think about how many likes I'm gonna get on my next picture. It feels good. Just do what you want. Just do anything, just what you want. Because either way, someone's gonna say something about you. Stop trying to please everyone. And another thing you could do is you could put a picture you just wanna put up, not caring how many likes or views you're gonna get. Try it out, try it out. But it's really important you act on this. Imagine just waking up and saying and doing whatever you want to say. Imagine not always looking back or stressing, getting stressed when the likes are not going up. Imagine how good that would feel. I can give you more of that and I will subscribe. I'll show you how I can do that for you. Mom, dad, yes dear, I want to go traveling this year. And what about your studies? They can come later. I just, I just really want to travel. And who's paying for this trip? Um, you? Over my dead body. <laughs> ah, something like that.